Hello YouTube. Let's crack open some really awesome die cast cars today. First up is a green light. I'm really happy to get this from the SD Trucks. It's uh, the New York PD 2017 International Work Star Flatbed Stick Side Truck. Really like this stick side truck. And pause on the back and read it if you like. Let's get it out of the packaging. I think the only one left that I gotta get from the heavy trucks is uh, gonna be the uh, tanker. I don't think I have the tanker yet. Very heavy casting. And it comes with all this cool extra stuff in it. It's really why I got this one. Plus, I like the look of this one better than the orange one. So, I'm happy. Happy to add that to the collection. Whoops. And then get some barrels. That will be cool when I set up my diorama. Which hopefully will be shortly. Maybe this summer. Oh, uh, saw horses don't go together as easy as I thought they might. But they do go together. Oh. That's pretty cool. Put the other one together later. A lot of plastic with that packaging. Next up, it's going to be a Johnny Lightning Gone Fishing. And this is a 1965 Chevy truck with boat and trailer. Only 3000 made. So, it's a really cool looking weathered truck. Most of these I picked up at a die cat, local die cast shop when they had a sale. It was buy one, get one, half off. So that's a really cool truck. The truck, it's really heavy. The rusted detail on it, it's pretty nice. A rusted out roof and the hood. Hood does open. So I'm happy I had that Johnny Lightning to the collection. Next up is going to be a, a Jada Ford Mustang Mach 1, 1973. Looks really cool in this purple. So we just, I really like uh, the Ford Mustang Mach 1 castings. I wanted an example of a Jada one. I know it's a lot bigger, but uh, they put really good detail on them. The paint jobs are amazing on these. So happy to add that to the loose collection. Got speakers in the back window. I do not know if it has an opening hood or not. It does not. Next up is going to be this green light taxi cab. New York taxi. So we'll go with the New York uh, Police Department stick side truck I just opened really nice looking casting I did not have uh, a taxi open 
So what better taxi to open than a New York taxi, right? Number 2023. Pretty high there. Next up is one I was real happy to get. Uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Barrett Jackson. Sold for $150,000. A Dodge Charger RT Hemi. Looks really sweet in this gray. Really like the matte roof. Resemble a rag top. I'm real happy to add this to the loose collection. I don't collect a whole lot of Dodge Chargers. But nice detail under the hood. Hood opens very nicely. I really like that rag top. Some red liner wheels. Next up is another Jada hauler. I thought a green machine or something might look pretty cool on the back of this thing. I don't collect a whole lot of Jadas, but uh, I do pick them up occasionally. That thing is sweet. That is a beautiful paint job on that. Wow. So I'm happy to add that. I love these uh, these COE trucks. That's really heavy too. Uh, Jada car definitely does not fit on it. I got this green machine Camaro here. And it almost does. Looks really good on it. About the same color green. Next up is one of my absolute favorites. Not because it's a Celica GTS. I mean, that's cool. But uh, I love these muscle machines. The detail on these is just absolutely unbelievable. I don't think there's another 164 that has this kind of detail. And look at the speakers in the back window. All the way down. Sorry about that. As I was saying, I just really love these muscle machines. They are highly, highly detailed. The interiors are highly detailed. Under the hood, uh, multiple colors. They do have plastic bases, but they are completely detailed, held together with screws. I think it's from 2003. And I have another one. 2002 Fair Lady 350Z in blue. Now all these I've only paid uh, four dollars each for. To me, you can't beat it for four bucks. You get way more detail than you do with a super. So for four bucks, I'm very happy to add them to the collection. This looks really good in blue. The speakers are even multi multicolored. Some kind of tank, probably a nitrous tank. A lot of detail under the hood. It's a G Ready Racing. Very detailed base muffler and chassis and just love the detail of these cars and we got one more muscle machine it's a Celica GTS which we just opened one but the this one has a sunroof you know what 
And I'm going to hold off on opening this one just because uh, it's a lot like... Well, I guess it's not. It is a lot like it, but uh, I guess they do have their differences. Well, anyways, I'm going to hold off on opening this one at this time. I might put it in somebody's goodie box or something. And the last one we're going to open up today is a 1967 Chevy Impala Sports Sedan and the Black Bandits. Looks really cool in this matte black. Number 3918. It's not a very low number at all. There's only 4,500 made. Oh, look at that. That hood is uh, barely on there. Seems like it just wants to fall right off. Not very common with green light. Usually I don't have issues with the hoods. Right. Happy to add that to the Impala collection. Well, thank you for joining me and cracking open some really awesome die casts today. Make sure uh, to like and subscribe, and please leave comments. Thank you.